Hey everyone, Eric here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got a little bit done in here that I haven't covered. I got some insulation added to the back doors. I just need to put a vapor barrier over it and sheet it with some, some wood. I got some on the side door as well. I'm not quite finished what would be a window cavity on that. Uh, I started sheathing the roof. I got the first four feet done here with one piece. Uh, I have another piece ready to go up. Uh, I'll record while I'm putting that up. You probably don't want to see all the screws going in, but I'll speed that part up. light bulb is lit up courtesy of my battery banks and a small inverter that I've had for years. Had this oriented the right way first. Did I? You know, sometimes how you got a plan in your head. somehow execution is eluding you. That's what's going on, on right now. Ah, there. So this piece I have two holes drilled out already for for some ceiling lights and a little piece cut out here. It's going to be the front edge of the fan. See how this goes up. Oh. Yeah, a little piece tacked up there on the side for a ledge just to it's supposed to help hold it for a minute but a couple of prop poles I have one by four strapping on the roof and this is 7 16 OSB I'm using inch and a quarter cedar looking deck screws seems to be giving me enough bite if I happen to be drilling into the strapping that is on the metal cross members, it's not gonna it's not gonna stop on me. I didn't want to use a big washer or or anything on top of this. 
that's sticking out. Rather keep it flush. I'm using the 716 OSB because it seems to be flexible enough to take the curves that are in here. You notice before I push this up, there's probably an inch and three quarters or so space or rise from the sides up to the, the center pieces. So the uh, by having the the thinner OSB, it's a little more flexible than anything else I was looking at. Use it on the floor. I got it going on the ceiling. And well the walls are curved too so it's going on the walls. My intention all along has been to paint not stain or anything so I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about the looks of the OSB. Might have a little bit of OSB texture to it once it's painted. And I'm okay with that. Well, you may have noticed that I didn't have my coat on before and I have my coat on now. Good observation skill. It's a nice day out but it's still cool. So when I was out cutting this piece of wood I put my coat on. I didn't take it off when I came back in. done. That's, uh, that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching. If you like, smash that like button. Uh, if you don't, smash the like button anyways. Uh, if you haven't, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications of any new videos coming out. Thanks again. See you later.